So our students are kind of doing a summative assessment on conduction, convection, and radiation and the idea of insulation. So they're trying to insulate a penguin uh, and have that penguin not melt by creating a shelter and then combating both conduction, convection, and radiation. And so it's an engineering project. It's a lesson that they can use their own ideas. I think that's the biggest idea from it. But also we're applying science concepts. So it's not just a quote-unquote fun activity. It's the science behind it. And then radiation, where's that coming from? Light. The light, right? So we got St. Paul Public Schools has a, a very robust science program throughout elementary through high school. Um, from our leadership down to all the teachers that I work with, they're, they're some of the best science teachers in the nation. You know, we've had many past award winners of this award, which kind of proves it. So being around people that are, are, are good at their craft, you know, really inspires me, but also helps me become a better teacher in the end. You know, I never thought I'd be in this spot where a, I'd, I'd be nominated for it or B, that I'd, I'd win. So um, it's humbling and it makes me want to do things like this with my kids um, just to, to make sure that they are getting the best education that they can. I love kids. I want to help them understand how life works and become critical thinkers. So I think when you see that spark in a kid's eyes or the, oh, I didn't realize that would happen, like today some of them are, are, are not going to go well. But that's great because they're going to learn from it. And I think it's just the, the idea that if I can get kids to think critically and become better citizen scientists, you know, that's kind of what I'm, that was, that's what brings me back every day.